Hey everyone, welcome to SFDC Stop and in this video we are going to learn how we can test our files using Jasmine framework, right? So how we can test our JavaScript code using Jasmine framework. So first of all, what you need to do for this is to download and install the Jasmine framework. So if you go to the GitHub repository of Jasmine, I'll give you the link in the description. And if you go to the releases tab, you can find the latest release of Jasmine framework. So in my case, it is 3.6.0 and you can just click on the zip file to download it from there okay so i am going to save this zip file under the jasmine folder that i have created and uh, then i am going to open this directory and unzip this zip file right so i can simply unzip this zip file out here and i think that's it okay so once you have unzipped the zip file that uh, I'm talking about, that is the Jasmine framework, then you can start testing your JavaScript, whatever you have written. Okay. So let me move back to VS code. And here you can see that inside my Jasmine folder, I have my zip file unzipped. So if you see the basic syntax uh, or the basic, I can say specs and sources, whatever is available inside the Jasmine framework, there is an HTML file, which is responsible for running a number of tests. So these are the source file. I mean the files that are, that are being tested. Okay. And these are the spec files. That is the files where you can write your test cases and you can write your uh, testing code to test your JavaScript. Okay. And uh, rest, uh, rest is nothing. I mean, there are there is a title and there are some links and there are some scripts, which is the part of Jasmine framework itself. Okay. All this you will get under the zip file that you have just unzipped, and uh, you can you can just see it here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a new spec under the spec folder and I'm going to add a new uh, file under the source folder that I want to test. So if you remember our previous tutorial where I talked about JavaScript modules, in that case, I created a new module named as the calculator module, uh, where I, I defined four functions for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, right? So let's, let's do the same over here. I'm going to name, I mean, create a new file named as calculator.js. And uh, this is the file that we are going to test. Okay. And this is nothing but uh, like, like a file which is used to, or I can say a library uh, to perform arithmetic operations, right? Arithmetic operations. And inside this file, I have defined four functions like I did before. Uh, one is the function add, which is going to take two parameters a and b, and it is going to return a plus b. Okay. And uh, apart from this, I'm going to have a subtract function, a multiply function and a divide function. So in case of a subtract function, it will receive a and b and it will return me a minus b. In case of a multiply function, it will receive a and b and it will return me a into b. And in case of a divide function, it will receive a and b and it is going to give me a divided by b. So they, these are the four functions that are defined in my JavaScript file in my source JavaScript file that I want to test. Okay, so what I can do, I can just go back to my HTML and uh, inside my source files, I can just add one more source file. Um, so this source file will be src is equal to source slash calculator.js. Okay. And uh, I can also remove the other source files because I mean, these are the sample files for your understanding. However, we don't want this. So I'm going to remove this for now. And in case of spec file also, I'm going to remove the existing spec file and we are going to create our own test cases for our calculator.js out here, right? So let's go to the spec folder and I'm going to add a new file here and uh, let's name this file as calculator spec.js. Okay. So in order to define a spec, we can use the describe function, which is available. And uh, in this, in this function, the first parameter you have to give that, uh, what kind of test case you are running. I mean, what spec you are testing or what, what source file you are testing. So I can simply write here that testing, uh, calculator. Okay. And in the second parameter, we'll be having a function and uh, inside this function, I can write my test cases. Each test case is defined by an it function. And, uh, this it function is going to receive two parameters. The first parameter is simply, I mean, you can either use double inverted comma or single invert comma. Uh, the first parameter is simply, you can say, um, a message, which will say that which kind of test case is being performed. So let's say I'm, I'm saying here, uh, testing add function, right? And after that, I can again define a function inside the second parameter. And this function will be having the test case that what it is expecting and what it is, uh, having actually. So I can simply write here that expect. And what I expect, I expect that if I add 
2 and 2 so if I add 2 and 2 then the result should be so I can write here 2b and then 4 ok so this is how I can write a test case in Jasmine uh, which starts from an 8 and then I describe what the test case is all about and after that in the second parameter I am going to define a function and this function will, will have multiple or single expect statements uh, which is expecting something. So here I am testing my add function that I if I add 2 and 2 then the result should be 4. So this is a syntax to uh, check that what are we going to expect and what it should be actually right. So I am expecting that 2 plus 2 should be 4. Similarly I can uh, define other test cases for other functions as well. So I am going to define 4 test cases here. Uh, so let's say testing subtract function. Here I am saying that if I am subtracting 2 and 2, so 2 minus 2 should be 0. And similarly I am testing the multiply function. So if I multiply 2 and 2, then it again should be 4. And similarly I am testing the divide function, right? So if I am dividing 2 and 2, uh, then 2 by 2 should be 1, okay? And uh, that's all. That's all for your Jasmine test cases. And you have defined four test cases, uh, which are actually kind of you know uh, testing these four functions, which are defined inside the calculator source file. And I have defined my test cases inside the inside the spec folder, and all the source files are under the source folder. And Jasmine is automatically going to uh, find all the files under the source folder and run the specs over these source files. Okay, so let's move ahead and let's see uh, how it works. So I'm just going to open this HTML file and I'll see what happens. So no spec found, let me just check it. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot to include my spec. So this spec will be src is equal to spec slash calculator spec.js. Okay, so I have my spec included. Now I can refresh this and see what happens. Okay, so uh, I'm getting a little script error here. Okay, so let's check what is the error. Um, reference error, decrypt. Oh, it should be described here. It should not be decrypt. It should be described actually. So this is described. Okay. And uh, let's run our test case. Yeah, it's working fine now. So here you can see that uh, we have actually a kind of executed four specs which is testing subtract function, testing multiply function, testing add function and testing divide function and all these four specs are successful and zero failures are there. So it is telling me that all the test cases that you have run, testing add, testing subtract, testing multiply, testing divide, all have successfully executed and zero failures are there. Okay. So these are my positive test cases. I mean, uh, I'm expecting this to be this. So all these are positive test cases. So I can simply uh, write here positive, right? Positive. Okay. So let me just refresh this and uh, all our positive test cases are working exactly fine, right? Now let's have a look at uh, how we can define some negative test cases and let's try to execute those as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some negative test cases in the same way like I have added positive test cases. So I can simply add a comment here, positive test cases and uh, I can add a comment here as well which will say negative test cases, right? Negative test cases. Okay. So in, in case of a negative test case, I can, I mean, I should add a negative value. Like uh, if I say uh, 2 plus 2 expect to be 4, then I'll say here expect to be 0. So uh, subtraction of 2 plus 2 should be 4 instead of 0. Multiplication of 2 plus, I mean 2 into 2 should be, I can say, let's say 1 instead of 4. And a division of 2 plus 2 should be, I can say, let's say, uh, 4 instead of 1, right? So this are, these are the negative test cases that I have written where I am expecting uh, some something to break or uh, it should not give the correct result, right? Okay, so I have written negative over, uh, I mean, in the test cases description. Let's execute this once and let's see what happens. So if I just refresh this page, you can see that 8 specs were executed in total out of which 4 were successful and 4 were failure and the test cases which are failure are given below uh, like testing add function negative here here add function is giving us 4 but we expected it to be 0 so that is a negative test case which is failing um, division function is actually giving us 1 but we expected it to be 4 so it's failing 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन फंक्शन इज एक्चुअली गिविंग अस फोर बट वी एक्सपेक्टेड इट टू बी वन सो इट्स फेलिंग सिमिलरली सब्ट्रैक्शन फंक्शन इज गिविंग अस जीरो बट वी एक्सपेक्टेड इट टू बी फोर सो डेट्स वाई इट्स फेलिंग राइट सो दिस इज हाउ आई मीन द नेगेटिव टेस्ट केसेज आर रनिंग अ गुड थिंग टू रन द नेगेटिव टेस्ट केस इज टू यूज नॉट टू बी फंक्शन इन सेट ऑफ टू बी सो एज वी हैव अ टू बी फंक्शन हियर वी ऑल्सो हैव अ नॉट टू बी फंक्शन एज वेल सो आई कैन सिंपली राइट हेयर एज डॉट नॉट एंड डॉट टू बी दैट्स इट राइट so in this case it is expecting that addition of 2 plus 2 uh, should not be zero so this is kind of a negative test case where i am where i am telling him that uh, it should not be zero right so i can add uh, uh, this not in each and every negative test case so you can add not here as well and you can add not here as well right and uh, i'm going to save this file and let's execute this test case again so here you can see this time eight test cases were executed and zero failures are there so all the positive test cases like division multiplication subtraction and addition and all the negative test cases as well for addition subtraction multiplication and division all executed successfully and uh, there is no failure which has happened over here right so all the test cases are executing successfully now so this was a very little you can say demo or an overview of how you can test your javascript code using jasmine framework we'll see in detail uh, in case we i mean uh, when we are we'll move on to the lwc tutorial series and we'll see it at the end how we can test our lwc components as well but you can just download and install jasmine and uh, give it a try that how you can test your javascript code and what other functions are available for those you can simply go to the jasmine documentation and you can have a look at uh, like you can just google jasmine uh, js and then you can go to the documentation and you can check out what what other functions are there and how you can execute different type of test cases and all that stuff right so that's all for this tutorial everyone i hope you liked it and i hope you understood how you can execute your test cases for simple javascript functions that you have defined and uh, let me know your feedback in the comments down below i'll see you in the next video till then have a good day bye bye